First six thousand five hundred dollars, top of the stretch, and here they come. They're off into facing the wayfaring man tries to roll off the gate. Also out there leaving as a more beach as they move around the turn. Barnabas is there in third. St. Lad's Charger is in early fourth. Over there fifth is Caruso Hanover. Then it's World of Gaming. Followed by Blooming Genius in the early trailer, it's McCutcheon. So the wayfaring man, even money, shot on the lead. Amora Beach, just behind in second, opening quarter in 27. In their third is Barnabas, also at even money. St. Last Charger is there in fourth, Caruso Hanover fifth. Then it is World of Gaming, Blooming Genius, and McCutcheon. They're in single file. They're all behind the wayfaring man and Kurt Sugg, who's leading the train here down to the half. Amora Beach is their second. Barnabas is now looking to the outside. St. Ledge Charger stays in. Caruso Hanover comes out the half in 56 to the outside World of Gaming. Then it is McCutcheon and Blooming Genius. Around the turn to the back stretch, the wayfaring man's out there by a length and a quarter. Amora Beach is in the pocket. Barnabas is on the outside. Further back to Caruso, Hanover, and St. Lad's Charger. Over there to be next is World of Gaming. Looking three wide is Blooming Genius. With McCutcheon, three quarters home in 123 and one. Pacing around the final turn, the wayfaring man has them out there now by two. Amora Beach in second. Barnabas is tiring in third. Further back to Caruso, Hanover, top of the stretch. It's the Wayfaring Man. The Wayfaring Man has the lead now by three, almost four in their second. Amora Beach, the Wayfaring Man, an easy winner. Amora Beach finishing a second, then it's Barnabas in tight for fourth, 151 and three. In the winner's circle after winning race number six, it is the seven, the Wayfaring Man, an eight-year-old big-hooded son of Dragon Again out of Armbro, Wichita by Western Hanover. On my D-Racing...